You know, sometimes you haven't heard of something in years, and then all of a sudden you hear about it like six times in a week. That's what happened to me this week. Scotch eggs. I hadn't heard of scotch eggs in years, and now all of a sudden I've had 20 different people talking to me about scotch eggs. Fortunately, it's a food, and we can cook it, which is what we're going to do on CUI. No, no, wait, no, not, not bagpipes. No, not bagpipes. Hello and welcome once again to Cooking Under the Influence with me, your host, and Chef Du Jour. I'm Sean, as you probably already know. Okay, today we're going to be making scotch eggs. What's a scotch egg? Sounds kind of gross. Scotch, eggs, ugh. Well, contrary to popular belief, there's no scotch in scotch eggs. So let's remedy that, shall we? This is how you add scotch when you're making scotch eggs. Alright, you know I'm not like a cliche kind of person, but I felt it was appropriate to wear my kilt for the scotch eggs episode. Why not? So how do you make scotch eggs? It's actually pretty easy. Obviously, we're going to start with some eggs. Let's do, say, I don't know, four of them. Oh, hell, let's do six. Why not? Did someone say sausage? One way to keep your eggs from cracking, you know you put the eggs in the boiling water and they crack and the goo gets everywhere? Put them in cold water and let them, and then, then boil them. Being as we're in Louisiana, we're gonna use some pork and alligator sausage. You can pretend you're a rabbi and you're gonna circumcise the sausage. No, we're just gonna cut it lengthwise. What I'm trying to do is peel the casing off the sausage and the casing's not freaking cooperating. Something's not easy on cooking under the influence? I can't believe it. God damn it, come on. Yeah, because I made this show to show you how easy it is to cook well. Okay, that was a bit of a pain in the ass. And the sausage is really coarse. It's like andouille. So we might have to do something with that. Adapt, improvise, and overcome. One of the hallmarks of Scottish food is it's fried, which we're going to be doing. People ask me all the time stupid questions about my kill. Oh, Scotch, how I love thee. Say, hey, what's under your kill? My boots. Are you wearing your kill the proper way? Yes, this is the front, this is the back. There's nothing like the expression on someone's face when you give them the answer that they weren't expecting. Oh, you're wearing a kilt! Are you Scottish? No, I'm American. There's a funny thing about Americans. Whenever they go to other countries, they insist on saying that they're not American. They'll be in, say, Italy, and they'll get into a conversation with a, with a local. Oh, yeah, I'm Italian. And the Italian looks at them and says, yeah, sure you are, honey. If you need a video tutorial on how to peel a hard-boiled egg, this show is not for you. And you've got your hard-boiled eggs. You've peeled them. There's one now. Okay, I have my doubts as to how well this is going to work. we got our ground-up sausage bits here. And egg. Now you're supposed to form the sausage around the egg, and of course it's totally not freaking working. Why am I not surprised? Something didn't work on CY. Can't believe it. One of my favorite games when I go to other countries is to play Spot the Yank. The Yankee. The person from America. By the way, it's not a hard game. So let's make like some sort of a mixture that'll stick to the egg. Breadcrumbs. Let's add a raw egg to make it sticky. All right, maybe two or two raw eggs. The sausage you can uh, spice up with whatever freaking spice spices spices you want. I'm just gonna leave it as it is because it really smells really really good like it is. Hey, maybe we could play Spot the Yank now. There's a thought. All 
Uh, is this the size of the plate for the continental breakfast? Can I have a cafe, Silvus plate? Oh, look, Margie, I'm speaking French. I spoke French to the waiter. Hey, senor. The United States recently professed their alliance with Peru, but signed in a trade agreement for petroleum with Venezuela, which they label a terrorist country. How can you justify this? Okay. Now this seems kind of work with a bowl. Make a egg ball around, I mean a sausage ball around the egg. Okay, that's not bad. We made a little round uh, sausage eggy dealio sphere. Remember, the more geometry you incorporate in your cooking, the better it'll be. Hey, look how small these rooms are. Back in America, everything's a lot bigger. Mais oui, ils sont beaucoup de femmes belles. Mais maintenant, je pense de toi. Okay, fine. So I was a little over enthusiastic with six eggs. We only have four here. Oil. Heat it up. As if we haven't used enough eggs already. Okay, how many times have I done egg wash on this damn show? A lot. So go back and research my whole videos because I'm not showing you again. Make an egg wash. More breadcrumbs. Got it? More eggs, more breadcrumbs. Not a health food show, people. Like that. Put it in the egg wash. More eggs. Look, it holds together. It's like a baseball. It holds together so well with the egg wash and breadcrumbs on the outside. Oh my god, Jenny, look how cute that is! <laughs> African American? But I'm not American. I'm from Africa. You know, everything's bigger in Texas. <laughs> With all the eggs and the sausage and the eggs and the breadcrumbs and the eggs. This is kind of a fattening dish. I need some freaking leafy greens with that shit. Let's steam some spinach. Steam spinach is bomb.com. Oh, fuck, motherfucker, god damn it. Baseballs. This is a pan full of oil. Put them in there. Woo, damn, that looks good. Be careful, because I just burned my finger. Ow. Turn the heat down. This shit sucks. It's fucking black. God damn it. Burn. Nice. Black baseball. Yeah, I'm guessing bowling ball things isn't exactly what I had in mind. I need more scotch. Well, I don't know, that Guinness beer is kind of dark, ain't it? Is it supposed to be that color? Motherfucker. Alright, well, at least some of this shit came out kind of golden brownish. Bowling ball? Scotch egg. See, now there's quite a nice contrast between the charcoal black exterior and the lovely white egg inside. It's fabulous. Let's get some mustard. This is the not burn one. Let's try some yellow mustard with that. Say, not bad. Hey, by the way, I'm going to China in two weeks. I might, I might have another CUI. I might not. We don't know. All right, I'm, I'm, I'm not disappointed at all. This came out pretty damn good. Hey, why am I going to China? Go to this website. You'll find out. iHeartBrian.com. Thanks for watching. And adios. Till next time. I'm not expecting to go far into the desert, but I can look at me.